I'm in the process of restoring a 48 inch uh, Cub Cadet lawnmower deck I uh, received a while back. It was in pretty sad shape. It had a lot of rust on it, so I stripped the paint off of it, sandblasted it, repainted it. Of course, that's the deck there behind me. Uh, I am in the final stages of getting this thing ready to put back on the tractor. Hopefully, I'll have it done today. I went to put the blades back on. I bought new blades for it. And the blades it requires are 16 and a half inches in length and the blades they sent me were 17 inches in length. Now I don't know who screwed that up, if it was me or them, but it got screwed up. So instead of sending them back and having to wait for new blades, I just decided to trim these blades right here. They're real heavy duty, high lift blades. And I'm going to trim a little bit off each end. I originally put them on there anyway just to see if 17 inch blades would work, but I found out there's like a quarter inch overlap between the blades and it as soon as I would have uh, hit the PTO switch, this thing would have destroyed itself or burned the, the belts off at least. So I'm going to set this up in the mill and trim the ends off. But I, what I really wanted to show you today was a little blade balancer that I built here, I don't know, about a year or so ago. Uh, because when you're doing stuff like this, even sometimes these new blades aren't perfectly balanced. And it's really important to have balanced blades on a lawnmower because they do experience wear and then you get excessive vibration and not only is it, I mean it doesn't bother you that much but the big thing is it wears bearings out, it just tears your bearings up after a while and so if you can keep them balanced so much better and it just makes for a much smoother uh, experience when you're mowing grass when you have to be out there for hours at a time on a lot of acreage so I'm going to set this up and show you how this works Alright, now I have the blade uh, cut to size. I took about 150 thousandths off each end, something like that. Uh, I actually had the other two blades off and I had to trim them a couple different times to make sure the, the uh, length was right. But at any rate, this is now finished for the overall length. And I'll just get the um, little bit of the uh, debris off the ends here. To balance this blade, I have a small blade balancer I built here a couple years ago and it is this right here. Very simple. This isn't the only part. There's also a pin that this sits on that goes up inside this cone. Uh, it's just a hardened pin. I haven't uh, machined a base for it. Right now I just put the pin in the tool maker's vise to make sure it's straight up and down. Uh, anyway, this is a just a piece of uh, 6061 aluminum and uh, the inside is uh, cone shaped as well with a single point at the top and the point is up here somewhere so whenever the blade sits on it, it's kind of like a pendulum. It, it, the center of gravity is lower than the top of that pin so it allows this so it doesn't tip over in other words when you put the blades on. Uh, I seen something like this in catalogs years ago and that's where I got the idea only that didn't appear to have steps on it. Like see these grooves here? Uh, it would just You just set the blade on it and hope you got it on straight. Well what I did was add these grooves on here for two sizes of blade inner diameters that I run into and that's five eighths and, and uh, three quarters. I'm sure there's more but those are the two I need these the, need this for right now. Uh, so today we're going to use the three quarter inch groove on here. Now what you do is you take the blade and you set it down on that cone and you'll see here it sits, see it kind of snaps in place. It's um, a nominal three quarter inch size. I think I have it 730 or 735 to give a little bit of clearance because these holes in here aren't machined, they're just punched out and they're not real clean so you get burrs. So you need to give them a little bit of uh, uh, error there. So anyway, that sits on that aluminum cone like that. Now what you do is you set the cone on, uh, on the base I told you about, that hardened pin. It just sits on there like that. This gives you a little bit better background to uh, see what this thing is doing. But as you can see, this blade is pretty well balanced. And there's a little bit more weight on this end. I mean, a tiny little bit, so I'm not going to mess with it. You're never going to notice that. I mean, this isn't, we're not balancing a jet engine uh, compressor here. This is just a lawnmower blade. It has to be close, but not, you know, perfect. As you can see, this is ready to go on the uh, lawnmower deck. 
but I will give you an example of a blade that definitely needs ballast and you would not want to put on a deck and unfortunately this deck uh, had a blade on it like that so it was destroying the bearings. Alright, here's an example of a blade that's in pretty sad ass shape. This is, this is the one that was originally off the deck. You see it's so thin here, it looks like he hit a rock and just it's like a feather edge on there. Uh, it's, everything's rounded on it and worn, the erosion's pretty bad. And this, this, the previous owner of this didn't do any maintenance on this hardly at all from what I can, from what I can tell, unfortunately. Uh, and I kind of inherited this mess. Uh, but I'm doing the best I can to make this work again to get a few more years out of it. Anyway, I'm just showing you this blade because I want to give you an example of how this balancer works. Now this one here, this is the new one of course, this doesn't need balance. Here's an example of a blade that definitely needs balance. Now this is three quarter of course too. Now there, now that's uh, pretty obvious that that needs balanced. So, you know, in other words, uh, if you wanted to get this, if you did want to use this junk, uh, you would have to trim a whole bunch off of this end here somewhere. And uh, there's not much lift, lifting area left on this. It's getting really thin, so I wouldn't even attempt it. And that just gets dangerous there. So that's just an example there, the difference between the two blades. So anyway, the, the point of this video is well, I wanted to show you this little blade balancer. It's very, very simple. If you want to make one, uh, you know, you need a little metal lathe to do that. You probably could make one out of wood, like a hardwood, uh, maybe like black walnut or something. If you have a wood lathe, it might be a little bit tricky, but you could do it. But it's a very, very simple little setup there. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you liked the video, of course, give me a thumbs up. I always ask for that. And also consider subscribing to my channel. Okay, until next video, I will see you later.